Hello guys, welcome back to Tenorshare channel. Have you ever met the situation? You were doing something important on your iPad, and suddenly, the screen turned completely black. Even no response when you tried to reboot the iPad. What should you do? No worries, today I'm gonna give you guys 4 efficient solutions to get your iPad running. Let's dive in. Method 1. Charge your iPad. To exclude the battery drain problem, the first solution is to charge your iPad with the original Apple Lightning or USB-C cable. For some older pad users or handheld game lovers, using the phone too often can lead to battery drain. So if your iPad suddenly becomes a black screen of death, it may just be a battery drain problem. Trying to charge it and wait a bit more, your iPhone will have a chance to regain its life. And when it reboots and get back to normal, I suggest you to have your iPad battery replacement on local Apple Store. Method 2. Force Restart iPad. This process doesn't require a computer. For an iPad with home button, to force restart, you need to hold the home button and power button at the same time until the Apple logo appears. For an iPad without home button, quickly press and hold the volume up. Then quickly press and hold the volume down. Then hold the power button until the Apple logo comes out. Force restart of the iPad is the easiest method but it won't guarantee 100% work. If you fail, please move on to the next method. Method 3. Fix with Rayboot standard repair, no data loss. Software errors may also cause your iPad's black screen of death. Therefore, you will need a third-party tool called Rayboot to help you fix your iPad's iOS errors. This repair tool can fix more than 150 iOS system issues without any data loss. I put the download link below if you are interested. So download Rayboot on your computer. Launch it and connect your iPad to your computer. Before you start, make sure your device is in recovery mode, otherwise you will find that your iPad doesn't successfully connect to the computer. You can follow the instructions on Rayboot below. Volume up, volume down, then quickly hold the side button about 5 seconds. Don't release your fingers until you see connect to computer icon. Then click the green start button to proceed. We will see two options here, standard repair and deep repair. I recommend you choosing standard repair as it won't cause any data loss on your iPad. Then click download button and Rayboot will match the latest firmware package for the repair. Once done, click the start standard repair. The whole process will take about 10 minutes. So just be patient and keep the iPad connected during the process. After the repair process is done, your iPad will be restored to a normal state. Let's check it out. Okay, all the data are still kept on your pad. Last but not the least, if you prefer a free way to fix your iPad, iTunes would be a good choice. Connect your iPad to your computer with a lighting cable and launch the latest iTunes. Next, put your iPad in recovery mode first to avoid a iTunes recognition failure. Launch iTunes. There's a pop-up window shows on screen. Choose update button and then iTunes will start to download the firmware which depend on your internet speed. But I do not recommend it because an update might not have been completed yet but your data will be lost. Okay, so that's today's tutorial on how to fix iPad black screen of death. If it helps, don't forget to give us a thumbs up. I would be very grateful if you subscribe. And stay tuned for our next video.